Hi, everybody. I'm Kieran Milne. I'm a product marketing manager with Juniper Networks. Hi, everybody. I'm Michael. I am the product manager for the QFXs at Juniper. Welcome, Michael. Thanks for joining us. Now, we've got a lot of things going on right now with new data center EVPN VXLAN features, right? Yes, exactly. We have some cool features coming, and uh, some of them are very specific to the data center site. So whenever you are using EVPN VXLAN, uh, we have some additional features coming uh, in Junos 20.4, but uh, we wanted to focus also on extending our DCI and multipod capabilities. And I would like to focus on that part today with you, Kieran. Absolutely. So for this vlog, take us into that interconnection option for multipod and, and DCI scenarios. When we deployed already VPN VX and Fabric in the LAN data center, we may have a requirement to extend the L2 between the sites or just simply extend the L2 bridge domains uh, to the other data center room. And in that situation, if our Fabric is, is growing, uh, with the number of leafs uh, devices at the top of the rack level, we may have a situation where uh, in the traditional EVPN VXLAN context, uh, the number of EVPN VXLAN tunnels starts to grow exponentially, right? So for such situations, we have a new cool feature in Junos starting 20.3 and on uh, QFX 10K 60C starting 20.4, where we can stitch VXLAN tunnels coming from the LAN data center uh, to the VXLAN tunnels uh, dedicated to the interconnect. The same feature can be also used for uh, the multipod architectures. So if we have, for example, four pods, instead of uh, enabling uh, a full mesh of VXLAN tunnels between all of the pods within the fabric, we have a possibility to control precisely how the bridge domain extensions are happening at the interconnect gateway level with the seamless VPN VXLAN stitching. We can be precise in terms of uh, which VNIs are going to which pod. And also another cool thing is that we can identify the given pod with the ESI value, the 10 byte ESI value. So it means whenever you have a a lot of the MAC addresses coming from one pod or from the other pod, they can be precisely identified with the uh, ESI uh, value uh, from the control plane point of view. That's great. So you've been talking already about these kind of different use case options. Show us some visuals or the kind of architectural view of these options. So yes, uh, so we mentioned about uh, the two use cases, uh, multipod, uh, data center architectures between, for example, smaller rooms and bigger rooms within the same premises. And then the second one is uh, the DCI, so two sites or more than two sites. So it means if you have a lot of these devices uh, on each of the site, that's where the seamless VPN VXLAN stitching makes sense, right? But from the design point of view, uh, we identify a couple of design options, right? So VPN VXLAN stitching can be enabled not only at the spine level, but you may consider the same functionality to be enabled at the super spine level in case you, you deploy a five stage architecture or uh, at the border leaf level if your design is an edge routed architecture, so fully distributed model. So then the border leaves are actually delivering the stitching uh, gateway capabilities. That's great. I wanna make sure the viewers are, uh, are clear on platform support and Junos release support. Can you cover that again? Yeah, so uh, Kieran, the EVPN VXLAN seamless stitching is coming on the QFX 10K family, right? So uh, QFX 10K family with uh, Juniper chipset, with uh, uh, boosted scaling uh, from the uh, MAC table point of view, from the FIB point of view. And then from the Junos uh, perspective, we delivered that uh, starting 20.3. But the recommended releases for the production deployments are uh, is uh, the 20.4 R2, which is uh, coming soon also uh, on our uh, uh, devices. Excellent. So folks can get into maybe some pre-production testing and trialing with 20.3 in yeah. preparation for the hardened release with uh, with 20.4. Absolutely, absolutely, Kieran. That's great. All right. Well, it's uh, we're running out of time here with this vlog. So what are some key takeaways? The key points for uh, our watchers uh, to take away. So. First takeaway, simplifying the DCI. We didn't want to make it too complex, right? Someone is familiar already with EVP and VXLAN within the LAN, 
then we wanted to just uh, give uh, the opportunity to extend uh, these capabilities between the sites. So whenever you, you, you are familiar with the LAN, EVPN, VXLAN, you can easily uh, um, take the benefit of uh, the seamless uh, stitching options. Second thing is that we have additional uh, virtualization options with the uh, VNI translation using seamless EVPN, VXLAN stitching. We improved the flooding. And the, the, the last important thing is that we just boost the scaling of the fabrics and the multipod designs, right? Excellent. Thanks for all of that, Michael. That takes us to the end. So a couple of, of key points as we close off. Good summary here of our new VXLAN stitching feature. Uh, for those who want to get into some more detail, check out the Q1 2021 Masterclass, where we'll be covering actually a, a several of these new yeah. data center EVPN VXLAN features. Michael and everybody will dig in more detail, so if you want more, uh, be sure to check that out. And that takes us to the end, so thanks very much for me. Thank you, Kieran. Thanks, All everybody. Right. Bye, everybody. We'll talk to you on the next one. Bye-bye.